See this handsome face with a nice smile and perfect teeth? This is the face of a retiree. World Moto GP champion Casey Stoner decided he had nothing left to prove and at the peak of his game called it quits at 27 at the end of last year's season. I will be finishing my career at the end of this season in MotoGP and uh, go forward in different things in my life. It was a career that saw Casey ride his first bike at three, pack himself and his family off to Europe at 14, and ride in over 150 races and win two world titles. Casey Stoner wins and is crowned the 2011 world champion. More recently, Casey went from two wheels to four, is dad to daughter Ali, and loves to fish. A perfect retirement pastime, as is writing a book. Another achievement he's racked up as well. Please welcome Aussie legend Casey Stoner. Two-time two world champion, and you you won the last six MotoGPs at Phillip Island. You obviously weren't in this year's. You would have won again, wouldn't you? You, you would have. <laughs> just, just be honest. You would have won. Uh, would have had a pretty good chance because we always kept something uh, up our sleeve a little bit there. It's it's been such a special place to me. Um, you said you had sec you got secrets you've never told anyone about. Have you got a shortcut of that? Track? <laughs> <laughs> to a certain extent, yeah. It's. Uh, there's always, uh, weather always plays a huge part there, and especially the wind, and there's always some ways to Is sort of get sail? around it. <laughs> <laughs> Being small helps a little bit. I mean, the thing that blows a lot of people away, you were, you were 27, world at your feet. No, no sign that you were losing your edge on the bike, but why did you give it away? No, honestly, I was, I was probably learning almost more at that point in my career than I was at any other time, but uh, just, Accumulative everything. There was so many different things to do with the sport, to do with um, sponsors, to do with past relationships with sponsors and, and manufacturers that um, that had just really sort of worn me out. And um, you know, I got burnt too many times, and I just lost the passion for the sport. You know, it's, it's supposed to be there because you want to be there, and, and I felt like I was there because I was, it was a job. Did you, did you? I read somewhere that you spent actually like almost no time on the bike itself and it was all the other nonsense that took your time that's um most of the time you know if if you go to an appearance for one day it's three days one day flying there then the whole day of the appearance etc and then home and normally it wasn't just that normally they'd, they'd get you there for a couple of days and then that ends up four or five days every time you go to do one or two appearances and uh it just takes it out of you, it takes time, and, and we spend that much time doing that, and we spend less time on the bike. Sounds like a safe option. <laughs> uh, but obviously, it's no secret, your parents gave up a lot to get you to where you did with your career. How did they take the news? Honestly, very well. Uh, they saw what was happening. They saw sort of, you know, how we were treated as well. You know, it was, it was happening to them as well because uh, of everything we'd put in over the years and people that we thought we'd trusted, um, you know, sort of stabbing in the back to, to some sense and it's sort of um this all in the book because this sounds really interesting <laughs> <laughs> i'd like to put more in the book than, uh, than what i did but uh it, it might not go down too well so what there's a lot of truth wife? in there but yeah she would have been happy to have you around a bit more and your little girl I'd, I'd love to say it was you know happy to have me around a bit more but um you know i was we had a very good situation she traveled everywhere with us and um you know we're all together a lot so we spend more quality time together, I think, than quantity. But um, you know, for us, it's a lot better. I'm less stressed. It's uh, it's a lot easier in home. We've, sure. we've all been there, Casey. Mm. Where the wife says, "Go back to work." <laughs> we've all been. There. <laughs> I'm waiting for that any day. Now. Yeah. So, uh, well, we, I mean, obviously, you're you're a great family man, but it is it's tough at home looking after children, and yeah, um, and uh, that's why I work a lot. But um, you know, <laughs> are you, is there more children? Are you going to have more? Um, planning to, yeah, in the future, but uh, we'll just see how things go step by step. You know, I'm in, I'm in love with my little girl at the moment. She's fantastic and uh, adventure every day. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's no doubt, you know, I would like to have uh, one more. Mm, do you get much man... We were talking about man time before. Do you get much man time, time to go do stuff with your mates? This was actually um, one issue with, with the amount of time we're always working overseas. And, and every time I had friends, they were, they were busy when I was free and I'm free when they're busy. And uh, I really got no time to, to hang out, even with friends that go racing as well. They're in another championship. And again, we're, we're racing at alternative weekends and it's just no time to see each other, you know, thousands and thousands of kilometres living apart. So it was, uh, it was very hard to actually spend any time with some, some good mates. But I know you love fishing and I'm sure that's where you're getting your adrenaline rush now, fishing, yeah. Um, <laughs> but you also... Uh, you've go, got... to, go to Darwin fishing and you know... Yeah, right, right. That's... <laughs> That's scary, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, but also there's another passion you've got, which I believe is 
We, it was on your Twitter recently. Latte art, yeah. We, you love looking in, in the in coffees and going wow, yeah. Yeah, well, um, good friend of mine. He's uh, a bit of a, a coffee lover, but. Um when I was going through the paper one morning, uh, you know, somebody left it on the desk of the, the race truck, and I just couldn't believe some of that art. So it was, um, you know, I knew there was some special stuff out there, but not quite that good. <laughs> <laughs> and, to, and to think people have, uh, think you've lost a taste for high adrenaline sports. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, the book, Casey Stoner Pushing Limits, is out now. Everyone should get it and read it. This man is a legend. Would you please thank Casey Stoner? Tell us a little bit about yourself, AJ. Um, thanks, Van. I'm very excited. I graduated from West Virginia University, and I'm used to, um, you know, from being from the East Coast. 